Okay. Go ahead. Okay, thank you so much. Sorry for a bit of a de delay in the beginning. So, my name is Anu Honkalina. I have a very long background in um, finance and insurance, um, and I'm here to present you the digital lifestyle protection insurance. Let me tell you a bit more how this works. Here is um, a family, a mother um, of two kids. Um, they have just bought their dream house with her husband and um, they are decorating for Christmas. But somehow Anna is a bit unsure about her ability or their ability to pay their mortgages um, because of potential unemployment or disability or sickness, especially now that the pandemic is um, raging around the globe. Anna remembers then that she has received an offer for a lifestyle section insurance from her bank while taking the mortgage. And then she goes and reads the offer only to find out that she actually is not eligible for the cover due to being self-employed and working on different projects. Then she starts looking after an alternative lifestyle section insurance online only to find out that there is none. There is no access um, to and, and no options online for a lifestyle section insurance to cover your um, bills or mortgages. She finds out that uh, you can only buy it usually face to face and from your own lender. There is no personalization of the product. You only get packages which are ready made by the bank who think they know their customers. And quite often the terms are a bit unclear so that you quite don't know what you're buying. What are you covered for? But luckily for Anna, uh, we are going to be the first online lifestyle section insurer uh, provider which is not provided from your lender. What does that mean? Um, we're offering uh, the, this insurance direct to consumers with per personalized features, which means that you can fit the cover always to your own situation. If, when you're self-employed, when you have something else going on and we are providing clear terms, legal designed and transparent covers where you always know what you're buying. We're also offering guided sales process, which means that you will not make wrong decisions while buying the product. You will know what you're to expect and what you're covered for. Where are we uh, with our go-to-market plan? Um, we're offering the first online direct-to-consumer lifestyle protection insurance. We're planning to grow the portfolio by using search engine optimization and growth hacking. And we will also win customers from the lenders before they sell their product and also after. We will partner with few key distributors uh, who are not banks or finance houses. And lastly, we will use our competitors, being the lenders, to market our product because they are uh, required to do that by regulation. Our competitors today, um, they consist of two different groups, white label insurers, who quite often then uh, provide their products through banks and finance houses. The other group is in-house captives who are um, offering usually the products through the banks uh, to their customers. Both of these groups are very often built on a face-to-face -face sales channel and the products are off the shelf, very unflexible, which we're planning to change. We're planning to offer an online product that you can customize for your needs. Our lifestyle section dream team consists of more than 50 years of experience in uh, insurance from two continents. And with the two of us, we can actually run any kind of business, uh, insurance business because of our backgrounds. Our business plan has been built on a steady growth, both on revenue and policies for the first three years in the Nordic countries. We're planning to have more than 25 million euros revenue in the first three years, and also more than 70,000 policies live. The progress, we're having currently our MVP. We all already have initial insurance company um, discussions. We're planning to file our license by end of January and our team is ready to start end of March and our uh, planned go live would be April. What we're looking for now is to collaborate with insurance companies. We're looking for an investment of half a million to scale up our growth and hire the team for the first 12 months. And we're also looking for consumer advocates to market this product. So 
we're hoping you to join us to say in safeguarding your lifestyle. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Great, Anu, amazing. Uh, yes, jurors, questions, please. Anu, perhaps leave, leave your... Uh, yes, I'm your just about on. to do that there. Yes. No, but you can leave it on, I meant, oh, but it's fine. Okay. It's all right. Go ahead. I'll just uh, briefly jump in. Anu, thank you very much for, for the presentation. Quite, quite intriguing. And again, I'm not necessarily from the fintech space, but it's, it's always curious, or I'm always finding it curious to see that so many products are still not digital. And so this is, I, from that angle, I, I already like what you're building. Um, my first question would be, who is the real target customer? So what, what kind of consumer are you, are you aiming for? Is it the self-employed? So what, what sort of age range? Do you have an, an, an understanding already of these? Yes, um, we have a background of um, 15 years from doing lifestyle protection insurance for global giants. And we know the market pretty well. Um, the, the biggest um, biggest kind of um, target group would be uh, the people who have mortgages, uh, who have car loans or consumer loans, which are fairly significant in size. These people tend to be from 30 to 50 years old uh, with, um, well, they need to be working one way or the other uh, in order to be eligible for the cover to be able to repay back also, of course. Um, and um, self-employed are one of the groups, subgroups, so to say, who are not covered today. So obviously there is the potential for us as well. Mm -hmm. Cool. Next, My, Mizrahi, please. <laughs> You're, but you are muted. Hi, uh, wonderful presentation. Thank you very much. I wanna ask whether this is actually a marketing innovation or a marketing idea because you're not an insurance company and if that's so what's stopping anyone else from copying whatever you are doing very good point and uh, i see see that you have been involved in this uh, type of business earlier have, uh, asking that kind of question uh, you are correct in the way that this is actually a new distribution channel um, it is very much about and around how to market how to promote this and how to find a new way to distribute this uh, channel. It ties up together with using the latest digitalization tools on, on gamification, on UX design, on um, customer behavior during the buy, uh, buying process. Um, like any, any other idea, nothing stops anybody else to launch this. However, um, having worked in the area for 15 years, I don't see any imminent threat from the current incumbents to do this in a way that we have planned due to a number of reasons. But um, yeah, I, I hope this answers your question. It is, thank you very much. Nara, please go ahead. Yes, uh, I guess that this is a little bit in line. So uh, how will you bring this awareness to the, to the customer? Because I think insurance is something that you're not thinking about until you actually need it. And uh, especially in this in this segment, uh, how how you know you will actually get into this customer to think about such a product? Very good points again. Um, so so the um, biggest kind of um, change in how we're planning to bring this to the consumers is actually um, raising the awareness through uh, growth hacking, search engine optimization that is not used today at all. Uh, we need to find the uh, people on the right time when they are already looking for the apartment or when they are searching for the car that they want to finance. And we need to be there either before uh, their lender has offered this product, or if not then, at the latest when they have heard about the product from their lender or they have already taken it. It's quite easy to actually change from one provider to the other. And we are planning to provide such a a uh, great product with a smaller price than the current market is um, offering this through. As you can imagine, when these are driven by the lenders, the products are uh, tailor-made for the needs of the lender, not really for the end consumer. And therefore, the price very much actually follows uh, the, the kind of the wishes of the lenders, not so much the wishes of the end consumers. 
So, so this is where we are coming in with a very um, flexible product that you can fit um, to, to your own situation. I hope this answered your question. Uh, anu, uh, one, one thing to add quickly, uh, you, you, you have uh, the secret weapon, uh, the growth hacker, right? Very much it's true. It's not yes. very secret anymore because I disclose it, but it's, it's someone yes. I want to meet. <laughs> perhaps mention that. <laughs> oh yes, um, we are lucky enough that we have been able to to um, to attract to our team, core team, uh, the the best growth hacker in Finland, who has done amazing job in here in her all earlier uh, places where she's been providing this. She's also um, uh, teaching uh, growth hacking. Uh, in, in Finland, so she's definitely the best person to start this with. So I'm, I'm very confident that we can actually deliver the numbers that we have projected.